The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. Here on the Domino's Post Game Report, I'm Adam Cavalier alongside Carson and Hedman's basketball coach, Chuck Benson. Chuck, I think if you were to look at the overall turnover total, uh, in large part, you cut down on turnovers today, 13 compared to the last two. Uh, but uh, a catastrophic seven-minute stretch to close the first half. Uh, everything w went wrong for Carson Newman. Everything went right for Tusculum. 21-3 uh, run to close that first half for the Pioneers. What did you see in that stretch where Tusculum built things out? Outside of that, the other 33 minutes in this one was a really tight tooth and nail affair. Um, first of all, credit uh, goes to Tuscaloosa. They came in here um, and played very, very, uh, very well. Um, and they did uh, what they needed to do to get a really, really good road win. So congrats to them. Um, I'm very disappointed. Uh, obviously, I mean, all that all that people care about are outcomes. Um, you know, the win, the loss. So I'm disappointed for the people. That that's all they see. Um, I'm disappointed in our performance. I'm disappointed in our mindset. I'm disappointed in our response to adversity. I'm disappointed in um, our um, self uh, self-inflicted wounds that I keep seeing from this team and you know um, um, what's today what I don't know what today is the 11th all, all every bit of this has occurred in a 12 day stretch um, and at this point um, nobody feels sorry for, for for poor old little Carson Newman men's basketball um, we uh, we have to make choices as individuals to uh, to um, get honest with ourselves and um, go in day by day and make the right kind of investment, make the right kind of commitment. Um, and um, relearn what it takes to win games. Because right now, we, 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 we really don't, we, we don't understand. And that's really hard. Like if, if I were just a, if I were you, if I were Adam Cavalier and you've watched our program, we've been together for years. And I was just telling the guys, like, in the 20 years I, I've been a college head coach, uh, I can't remember a time when I've seen the kind of self-mutilation, the complete implosion that I'm seeing with our team right now. And unfortunately, unfortunately, and here's the really unfortunate part about it, um, there's not a lot that uh, any one person can do to help another unless that person wants to help themselves first. And in the 20 years I've done it, I, I'm not sure that I remember a time where I've seen a team that that has some capability uh, in less than two weeks completely lose the plot and and implode. So we've got to start rebuilding, relearning, reconnecting, recommitting, um, and um, you know, get ready for the next one. <laughs> what positives do you take away from this? Well, I just, yeah, I, I just told the guys. Uh, we had um, nine turnovers at the half. We ended up with 13. Um, so we only had four the second. We had four both halves. That would be probably a season long in terms of turnovers. Uh, they are an elite offensive rebounding team, elite. Uh, I thought we did a good job keeping them off the glass. They only had five offensive rebounds. That's positive. Uh, if you look at it, we told them in half. Like, guys, every, every time that you all start focusing on the outcome, and this, this is where so many coaches, so many people, so many players make this mistake. You focus on the outcome rather than the process. You focus on the destination rather than the journey. And, <coughs> you know, I'd remind them at half, like, stop playing the scoreboard. Stop that. Go out there and be present. Be in the moment. Do your job to the best of your ability at that moment. And because we did that the second half better, we actually won the second half in terms of points. <laughs> so... Those are the three that I would sort of, um, um, and I did, I reminded the guys of those, those are three positives, but the overarching concern is just where we are right now. Um, and um, 
as I said, like we can't really we can't spend a lot of time thinking about where we are. We've got to do the work to give ourselves a, ch a chance to have a better performance. Period. Turn your attention. Uh, the road certainly doesn't get any easier. Uh, on <coughs> the road to Eliezer Arena uh, in Newberry, your first cross division game uh, with the Piedmont team in Newberry. Uh, you talk about rebuilding, reloading. There's not a ton of time to do it. Uh, three days from now, you got to tip against uh, a formidable Wolves team. What's it take between then and now to relearn? Well, one of the one of the things that ends up happening. Uh, is I mean you, you sort of have you sort of have a blueprint uh, and 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 unfortunately after doing this many years I've done it I, I know what the blueprint is uh, by heart but you have to have the flexibility because a team can need certain things that don't really line up with the blueprint so at this point it's this is about us man I I don't care if we were playing the Boston Celtics next uh, I'm not I'm not worrying about the Newberry Red Wolves I'm not I'm not worrying about I'm worried about our team, our players, our staff. Um, that's what I'm thinking about and trying to uh, provide the leadership and provide um, the, 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 the words um, that these guys need to be hearing to work their way out of this uh <coughs> just mess that they've created uh, in their minds. Because that's what's crazy about this. This is in their, this is for the most part, a lot of this is in our minds. And it's not a reality, but we're making it a reality because we've let some stuff get in our minds. Uh, and we've, we've just sort of forgotten. We've forgotten the recipe, Cab. We have forgotten the recipe, and we've got to relearn the recipe. Uh, so I don't care who we're playing Saturday. Um, I'm not thinking about them. I'm thinking strictly about us. And uh, um, we, will, we, we will stay. Uh, that will be the focus uh, until uh, we start um, functioning uh, in, in the way that I know we're capable of. All right, Josh, pleasure as always. We'll talk to you Saturday uh, at Eliezer Arena. Thanks, Kev. That's Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach, Chuck Benson.